Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, February 2nd, and we are looking at Window Trader's market profile of SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs. And right now, for the third day in a row, not only is the base of the price probes being accepted, they're being accepted in the most positive way as we're all looking to gap high with 75 minutes to go prior to the opening. So the bull is back. Um, we said this the other day, thought a short-term bottom was in. Uh, it certainly looks like it as they continue to push high. Now, granted, we're getting stretched out to the upside, right? 421, uh, seven trading days ago, we're up to 457. We're up $36 uh, in seven trading days. So at some point, we're getting a bit stretched. Right now, overnight high in SPY is 457.58. Overnight low is 452.92. If we do hold this gap, yesterday's high of 453.63 will be a downside destination. And that, my friends, right now is over $3 lower. So again, people will be screaming gap rules apply. I don't want to be going long on a gap of $2, $3, $4 higher. I just don't. I don't have to. There's no need to. Um, it'll be a much better trade for me um, to see uh, what comes along, especially if we get start getting closer to the other uh, weekly high, which we'll show you on the chart. Uh, so as far as a game plan, again, a gap of this magnitude, just too much for me. It depends on where the overnight high will be. Maybe the first time I take a small put play against that. And then I would probably look if we really pushed up to take a put play against that other weekly high of 459.96. Um, above that, there's 462.50. Really, there's, no, there's a vacuum to the upside above that which was nine wide on, believe it or not, January 14th. Um, so that might be a put play first against the overnight high, small, and then if we really ramped up uh, early in the in A period against that weekly high. Again, things change in B. If we're one time framing up and we have a lowest accepted price, then I'm looking for longs, not looking for shorts. For me to take a long right now, I need a pullback. <laughs> Again, I need the gap to be a dollar or less. Then I would take a long. Um, if the gap fills, I'd get out, reassess, and then I'd try another long against the base of the price probe, and then you have the single prints, you're going to have higher value. So buyers are starting, again, with a lot of ammo in their uh, arsenal as they're going to have higher value and a gap to start. Now, it also goes for the other ones. Now, Russell, obviously a lot different issues, right? Look, we took back that whole trend day from the 20th. They're right now in their first set of single prints. They have two. So they have issues. So on a gap higher, again, you could take a short possibly against the first single print fill from the 20th. Um, you can take a long against the gap today, be out below it, and then try again at the base of the price probe. And triple Qs, same thing from the 20th. Well, they, they're taking back right now all of the 20th, and they're getting their afternoon rally high. So again, you can see if they're going to stall at that afternoon rally high from the 20th, or they're going to go for that daily high <clears throat> and then on the chart just going to show you the weekly and the daily so the weekly is in balance we have three days to go in this week if we're able able to take out the week of january 17th to be pretty positive that's the top of our three-week balance right now so if it got up to anywhere around there especially early in the day i would think this market's getting a little stretched um, from 421 to four, almost 460, right? Uh, that'd be a $39 move. I would definitely take a put play the first time as we got up there. And then on the daily, we were battling the 200-day moving average. Five days, we were below it. Well, guess what, folks? Now the 20-day moving average is 454.62. So right now, we're almost $2.5 above it. And then the 50 comes into play at 461. 68. Good luck trading today. Have a great day and we'll recap at 4 p.m.